Hello guys, welcome back. Part 36, Dragon just got killed. Hell yeah! Go on, do it, Saray. Now that seeing there's so many episodes, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull them all up Saturday and Sunday, sadly. The malevolence, it's vanished. Yeah. Well, that was my exercise for the year. Yeah. But we made a difference. Let's treat ourselves to a break. How about our old hideout? Let's restore our health. Okay, running to the hideout. I'm gonna save it really fast and then we'll continue on with the sweet storyline right now. Such an innocent face. Asleep or awake. <sighs> no need to worry. saray has got it together. Yes, I know. But... He's almost two together, huh? Sounds like something a mother would say. Can it be sister at least? Although I am far older. All right, sister. We ought to rest up, too. Yes. I'll just tuck both of them in. Mother. Just saying, checks like a mother. Morning. Not even. You've been sleeping for three days straight. You're kidding! I was wondering why I was so famished. 
Let's go get something to eat. Indeed, Saray woke up just before you did. After we're done, let's head on over to Lastenbell. I gotta check on how everything wound up. Sheesh, workaholic much? Though I guess I shouldn't talk. Aren't you curious? Well... Just a tad bit. Yeah. If anyone's warmongering, I got some killing to do. Maybe we should leave her here. <laughs> Let's run. Oh, I ran out of print. Sorry about that. I was changing my position in my chair. I'm starting to get uncomfortable. <laughs> I've been literally doing recordings all day trying to get this game done. And I'm going to post them all Saturday. Well, you will already see all of them. But hopefully, I have it finished. Hopefully. <laughs> As soon as I got home from school, to uh, flip in right now, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> I've been sitting here recording video and video. <laughs> Trying to get this done, because I mean, this series has gone on for a long time. It's in right there. Saray, look! Alicia and Lucas! Wow. As a messenger of the Kingdom of Highland, I am here to discuss terms of a truce. I would like to meet with a representative of the Rolands Imperial Army. We honestly wish we could allow you to pass, but Highland and Rolands are still officially at war. This is a decision that has to be made at the top. I'm afraid as mere rank and file, we, uh... Alicia! Lucas! Saray! <laughs> I knew you were alive! You're meeting with Rolands? I hope. It seemed like this might be the last chance for diplomacy. A Highland princess wandering all the way here with no escort? You're a trooper. What do you mean? She's got the best guard in the world. If there's a chance we can stop the war, it's a small price to pay. But we're running into some, uh, jurisdictional issues. Shepard? You're with the Platinum Knights, right? Do you think you could contact Sergei for us? Tell him that Saray's friend, Alicia, has come to visit. If it's a meeting between friends, then the Knights have no need to interfere. I'm sorry my subordinates couldn't be more flexible with you. Not their fault. I hear they work under a very rigid captain. <laughs> you caught me there. So you're Alicia. I am Sergei, a friend of Saray. Well met. Well met. I'm Alicia. My sincere <laughs> thanks for helping us the other day. Not at all. Would you like to join me for some tea? Certainly. I'm thankful for this opportunity. We won't let it go to waste. Damn peaceniks. Putting good mercenaries out of jobs. This calls for booze. What do you say, Shepard? Don't be hit. What? Okay. I have my Zeke again. <laughs> um, go to Sanctuary and check on the shit. Okay. Okay. It, it's weird when my dog opens the door. Like, hey, Zeke. And now he's screwing around. He's taking my girl, though, man. I can't allow this. Alright, that should do it for now. Yes. Thank you for all your help. Ah, it's over already? The first meet and greet. I've received an invitation to Pendrago Castle. By yourself? In exchange, His Imperial Majesty of Rolands will allow me to meet for direct negotiations. Not bad for a bottom rung princess, huh? We are comrades who battled the dragon together. The Empire will have the decency to acknowledge that. Neat. Guess the peace talks are in good hands. 
And here I thought the war would be dragging on and on. Wow. Oh no, that was a pretty good one. I'm jealous. Is it a competition? Saray, would you be interested in coming to Pendrago with us? You're a key figure in bringing our two nations together. Thanks. But that's a dream that you should be the one to fulfill. I suppose. Best to you on your journey. You too, Alicia. Sergey. Not to mention our plastered buddy out there. Okay. We have something over here. I don't remember what this is. Is it staying at the end? No, it's something else. I hear they're actually making progress with the peace talks. That princess Alicia is a godsend. She sure is. If only a certain layabout would follow her example. My doggy's happy too. She hates war. You and me both, puppy. You and me both. Hey, bud. You up for a drink? Anything to get out of this armor. Hmm. Our departure can wait a day. Huh? But... Ugh. <sighs> All of a sudden. Oh, my back. I gotta lie down. Get us a nice room. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Zeke, make up your mind. Thanks, Lila. For hanging out with me. Don't mention it. I was thinking of coming up here and watching the city anyway. So this is where Saray's guidance has led us. Indeed, I'm sure he is doing much the same, watching them and thinking about how far we've come. Edna and Zavi too. After our long journey with the shepherd. I imagine they're using this time to reflect on their past, and perhaps, their future. <laughs> Kinda like us, huh? Well, well. Edna coming to see me? Should I be scanning the skies for pigs? I want you to tell me, why were you killing Hellions? <laughs> Where'd this come from? And why now? Is it to save them? Did you make up your mind that it's something you have to do in order to save them? Like Saray did? Oh, I get it. You still haven't quite wrapped your head around the idea of death as a form of salvation. And so every time you put it into words, it's been to convince yourself. smart woman. I imagine right now she's busy sorting out her feelings before we face our final battle. No doubt she's consulting Zavid for guidance. He's seen more of the world than any of us, the good and the bad. You're really a good study of people. You should have been a school teacher. <laughs> oh, but Rose, you had something you wanted to ask me, didn't you? When the dragon appeared, Saray found his answer right then and there, didn't he? It was that he didn't want that battlefield to see any further killing or bloodshed. Yes, and then he immediately took the actions he deemed necessary in order to achieve that. 
Time flows differently for people with a vision. Or so it seems to the rest of us sometimes. He's incredible. Wow, look at all those stars. Yeah. I forget who said it, that there are as many emotions as stars in the sky. I can totally see that. A metaphor for how each emotion sparkles in its own way, huh? Must have been a romantic who came up with that one. But you can also sense his insecurities about that, can't you, Rose? Like he's constantly on edge, worrying that if he let his guard down even a little bit, he'd lose his way again. I think Saray himself might be the only one who doesn't see that. I mean, you know how little it takes for a taut string to go snap, right? Are you worried? Mm, not worried, really. Whatever happens, whatever the future brings, I hope I can make it work somehow. No, I know I can. <laughs> I'm gonna so that's mute my your mic. answer. I guess so. But I've always been like this ever since I was a kid. I'm starting to understand why you don't generate any malevolence. So I want everyone not to worry and to just go do what they need to do. Pow! But I don't mean like, see ya, have fun, I'll be over here. I promise I'm with the rest of you guys for the long haul. <laughs> Don't you think it would be better to tell that to everyone, not just me? After all, I'm sure Edna and Zabid would take no small amount of inspiration from it. <laughs> I don't know, it'd be weird to walk up to them and be like, I am here, we are friends. Probably true. Sheesh, you women folks sure are complicated. But then, that's part of the appeal. Uh, are you just stupid? Yep, big old stupid, Ed. The type who can't do anything but believe in the one way he's found to get stuff done. What makes you believe in it? I just have a need to protect the pride of my friends and fellow Seraphim. No one becomes a Hellion because they want to. But when you turn into one, you know what that means, right? So that's why I end it for them, for the sake of their pride. <laughs> and you think that saves them? Who knows? That's something they get to ponder after death, in their own personal afterlife. How gallant of you. So that must be what makes you so... Attractive? <laughs> Ow! Hey! Fuck it off! Don't you all have one more thing you need to brace yourselves for? It'll depend on what Saray does with Mautelis after we take down Heldoth. But you know what? That's all right. I'm prepared. No matter what he decides, I'm willing to accept it. Gotta say, I think your resolve wins out over mine. I don't even know if I could do that. Just look on silently while one of our own suffers in agony. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about that. We're all in this together till the very end. <laughs> So, if Savid's quivering in fear, you'll be there to give him a gentle hug, right? Gross. <laughs> well, if my saying something is enough to cheer those two up, it might be worth it after all. It's enough to have someone to lend you a kind word. After all, that's what friends and comrades are for. But Rose, if you don't mind, may I ask what prompted you to bring all this up? Mm. I 
just kind of thought you and I might have sort of been thinking about stuff along the same lines. I just wanted to tell you, you don't have to carry it all by yourself. <laughs> huh? What? Did I say something funny? The two of us really are more alike than we realize. We commit to things. We decide on what role we're gonna play without really consulting with anyone else. Oh, now that you mention it... So that's why I felt like we might be sharing the same thoughts. We are the same, independent women. <laughs> I must thank you. I feel like a great load has been taken off my mind. Really? Hey, cool beans! <laughs> hmm? I'm profoundly grateful to whatever twist of fate brought us together. You really are a drama queen, Lila. Oh, Rose! <laughs> Alright, come on. We got some friends to go cheer up. There's something I learned from this journey. Some stars you can't see. And because you can't see them, you think they're not shining. But they are. It turned out that there were a lot of stars that we couldn't see from our home in Elysia. Once people notice the stars, they start to understand just how brilliantly they shine. Just like how Alicia finally got a sense of what Seraphim were truly like the first time she heard your voices. <laughs> that was a trip. <laughs> you should have seen your face. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited back then. It gave me hope that one day other humans might be able to talk to the Seraphim. But even then, you had to cut off your senses and hold your... Oh, I see. You were actually contemplating what you'll do after the last battle. Yeah. If I let myself become a vessel for Mautelus and shut off all my senses, we might be able to spread that power throughout the entire continent of Glenwood. If it works, and that's a big if, the Squire ought to be able to wield power like mine, even if she doesn't possess natural ability on par with a shepherd. So long as you entrusted all of your senses to the Squire, it's not out of the question. And we might be able to grow the ranks of Squires who could help us. Just think of Alicia. It's arguably a more constructive approach than just waiting for another Shepherd to appear. Exactly. But you understand the implications, don't you? Yeah. Until the Squires can quell enough of the Earth's malevolence to let Mautelus's natural purification take over. I would need to wait and sleep. By bonding with Mautelus, you'll be abandoned in time. It could take years. It could take centuries. And even if humans appear who can see and talk to Seraphim, there's no guarantee they'll choose the path of coexistence. I believe in them. What about your dream? Weren't you going to go off exploring ruins around the world? My dream will live on, so long as I don't forget. Very well. Thank you, Miklio. It's not so much that guys are stupid, it's just that the ladies are too smart. What's that, your philosophy? Huh. Looks like the gang's all here. I suppose you were all listening to us then? Yes. I may not be Edna, but you really are... Totally... Stupid. stupid.
Let's head out. Huh? We're not waiting till morning? No farewells to Alicia or anyone? I'd like to set out under these stars tonight. So that every time I gaze up at the night sky, I can remember this very day. Guess we've got our own romantic right here. You think so? So what's up? Are we going? Yeah. To the last battle. Yeah. All right then. No doubts, no regrets. To Elysia, Elysia, what am I saying? It's been a long night, literally. Go to Elysia. Can't tell far that far. Um, let's see. Can I talk with Lady Lake? Um, Lake Haven. Yeah. We're almost there, guys. We're almost done. Okay. Wait. Oh, I wanted up there. Not down here. Oh, crap. No, oh, looks like we're running a little bit. And supper is, I think, after this video, we're going to cut this video off here soon. It's 27 minutes right now. Uh, Last time, I had a, I think it was like a what, 58 minute video on this? My capture card didn't want to up, upload it to YouTube very well. I had to retry it like four times before it actually went up. So I'm still trying to keep around 30 minutes. Yeah, I literally had to, like, I'm glad I was ahead of schedule on uploading. Because for three days straight, I literally tried uploading whenever I went to bed. It just wouldn't. I'm like, well, this is where the hard part kicks in. Huh? Oh no. Miklio. Yeah, I don't feel Gramps' blessed domain. Did something happen in Elysia? You guys, let's hurry. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so much malevolence, it's stifling. I've never seen the Aroundite Forest in such a state. These guys will It's another werewolf helium with high combat powers. They have various jump attacks. Don't screw up out there. Fight the Vortex! Saint Zero! Here it goes! Not yet! Open the way forward! Two swings! And it's like they do. Here it goes! Aiming fire! Here it goes! Saint Zero! All the... Don't touch him. You touch him, uh, just plan on being dead. Because he can one-shot me in my other game on easy. It's, yeah. To this part, I actually played easy on my other game. I had so much trouble getting through this. That guy still one-shot me. On easy. And I played intense throughout the whole game. I changed easy. I was like, oh yeah, I'll change easy to see if I can beat him. <laughs> no. He still one shot my butt like it was nothing. Just like I was. Whoops. Yellow. <clears throat> it was not a fun time. People! More like court.
someone who could wield their powers even within Zenris's domain must have led humans and Hellions into this place. Heldolf! Maybe he was trying to get the humans to destroy the seal so he could get to Camlon. I don't know about that. Remember, he's linked up with Mautelis. He could probably cut through that seal like butter. Yeah. No doubt Heldolf is already camped out at Camlon, waiting for us. This is likely just his way of tor- I will see you guys in the next video.